What should we know about Jumu'ah? We all love to be in congregation of the Friday prayer. Now, let's discuss free ayats and authentic hadiths regarding our Jumu'ah day. We have one complete surah dedicated for this day known as Surah Al-Jumu'ah. Origin of the day. We are created, descended, and will be resurrected on this day. According to Sahih Muslim, the book of Friday prayer, hadith number 27, Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu reported, the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, The best day on which the sun has risen is Friday. On it Adam was created. On it he was made to enter paradise. On it he was expelled from it. And the last hour will take place on no other than Friday. So, this is the day of the creation of human being. On this day we were descended on earth and we will be resurrected on this day. Standing on the congregation is like a simulation of the day of the resurrection, all standing in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Jews and Christians have actually changed this day to Saturday and Sunday. According to Sayyid al-Bukhari, Book of Friday Prayer, Hadith number 1, narrated by Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu, I heard Allah's Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam saying, we Muslims are the last to come, but we will be the foremost on the day of resurrection, though the former nations were given the holy scriptures before us, and this was their day, Friday, the celebration of which was made compulsory for them, but they differed about it. So Allah gave us the guidance for it, and all other people are behind us in this respect. The Jews' holiday is tomorrow, that is the Saturday, and the Christians is the day after tomorrow, that is the Sunday. So, according to the original Holy Scripture of Jews, that is Taurat, and the Christians, Injil, this day, that is Friday, was their mandatory day of celebration, which is either forgotten or changed deliberately. Things we should know. No business transaction is permissible after Adhan. Surah Al-Jumu'ah, Ayat 9 mentions, O you who have believed, when the Adhan is called for the prayer on the day of the Jumu'ah, that is Friday, then proceed to the remembrance of Allah and leave trade. That is better for you, if you only knew. So, any nature of business or worldly transaction is completely restricted in the time between the Adhan and the prayer. Please note that, in these regions, this Adhan may be considered as the closest Adhan just before starting the Arabic Qutbah in the Masjid. Neglecting Jumu'ah prayer will cause sealing of hurt. According to Sahih Muslim, the book of Friday prayer, hadith number 52, Abdullah bint Umar and Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu said, they heard Allah's Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa say, people must cease to neglect the Friday prayer or else Allah will seal their hearts and they will be among the negligent. So, we must not skip the Jumu'ah prayer or else our heart might get sealed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Prescribed ways of celebration, mandatory bath. According to Sayyid al-Bukhari, Book of Friday Prayer, Hadith number 2, narrated by Abdullah bin Umar, Allah's Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa said, Any one of you attending the Friday prayer should take a bath. So it is mandatory for us to take a bath on Friday before our Jumu'ah prayer. Do not run, just walk. According to Sayyid al-Bukhari, Book of Friday Prayer, Hadith number 32, narrated by Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu, I heard Allah's Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa saying, if the prayer is started, do not run for it, but just walk for it, calmly and complete whatever is missed. So, we should not run to masjid, even if we are late. We should walk calmly towards masjid and make up whatever is missed. Coming to masjid early. According to Sahih al-Bukhari, book of Friday prayer, hadith number 6, narrated by Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu, Allah's Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Any person who takes a bath on Friday, like the bath of Janaba, and then goes for the prayer in the first hour as if he had sacrificed a camel in the cause of Allah. And whoever goes in the second hour, it is as if he has sacrificed a cow. And whoever goes in the third hour, then it is as if he has sacrificed a ram. And if one goes in the fourth hour, then it is as if he has sacrificed a hen. And whoever goes in the fifth hour, then it is as if he had offered an egg. When the Imam comes out and starts delivering the khutbah, the angels present themselves to listen to the khutbah. So, whoever goes to Friday prayer early will have the return of sacrificing a camel and the later will have the return of sacrificing a cow, then to a ram, then to an egg. No talk between khutbah. 
According to Sayyid al-Bukhari, Book of Friday Prayer, Hadith number 58, narrated by Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu, Allah's Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, When the Imam is delivering the khutbah and you ask your companion to keep quiet and listen, then no doubt you have done an evil act. So, we must not talk between each other while the khutbah is on. Do not stand up early. According to Sayy al-Bukhari, Book of Friday Prayer, Hadith number 33, narrated by Abdullah bin Abi Qatada, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, do not stand up for prayer unless you see me and observe calmness and somnity. So, we must not stand up for namaz before the Imam concludes his khutbah and himself stand up first. Many of us stand up early as we all know the ending speech of the khutbah, right? <laughs> Anyhow, prayer after Jumu'ah. According to Sahih Muslim, Book of Friday Prayer, Hadith number 86, Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu reported Allah's Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam saying, When any one of you observes the Jumu'ah prayer, two obligatory raka in congregation, he should observe four raka afterwards. So we should pray four raka after our obligatory two raka prayer. Sins between Fridays are erased. According to Sahih Muslim, the book of Friday prayer, hadith number 37, Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu reported, Allah's Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, He who took a bath and then came for Jumu'ah prayer and then prayed what was fixed for him, then kept silence till the Imam finishes the sermon and then prayed along with him, his sins between that time and the next Friday would be forgiven and even of three days more. So, completion of our Juma prayer as prescribed erases our sins for the next week. Afternoon nap is a sunnah. According to Sayyid al-Bukhari, Book of Friday Prayer, Hadith number 64, narrated by Anas radiallahu anha, we used to offer the Juma prayer early and then have the afternoon nap. So, you may have a nice afternoon nap following the sunnah. In Sahih Sunnan al qubra Hadith number 5856, it is mentioned that whoever recites the chapter of the cave, Surah Al-Kahaf, on the day of Friday will have the light for him between this Friday and the next. It's a pretty good surah with four beautiful stories with great lessons. You can get through its translation sometime. What is your opinion? Let us know in the comment section below. And if you like this video, just hit to the like button and subscribe to the channel. Thanks.